I found a solenoid valve on trace parts that I like, and I'm going to bring it into Creo Parametric, and I suspect that it might be a little more complicated than I need, so I'm going to use the Remove tool to eliminate some of the geometry. Here I am in Creo Parametric. I've started out my part file. Let's use the Get Data Overflow menu to get to the Import command. And here is the step file that I downloaded and we'll bring it in as geometry. Let's click the OK button. And that's a really, really nice file. Let's click the check mark to complete the feature and deselect everything. All right, so I look at these fasteners and I say, yes, there's a little more geometry than I need in here. So I can start off by selecting these surfaces and I'm using the control key as I'm picking the different entities. And there are a bunch in here. Let's rotate and control, and there we go. All right, so I think, oops, missed a couple. There we go, I have all the different surfaces selected. Now I can go to the Editing Overflow menu and choose Remove. And there it shows how it's going to fill in the geometry. I'm happy with that, so I will hit the check mark. After the remove command was added in Creo Parametric, actually it was back in Pro Engineer, a few years later they came out with flexible modeling and it makes the workflow a little easier. If you go to the flexible modeling, there is a remove command in here and it's a little easier to select things. So for example, I will start off by selecting one surface and then from the mini toolbar I can hover over the shape selection tools and oh, this is what I want. And then after I click it, right from the mini toolbar, I can also get to the remove command. And there it shows it being filled in. I can hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And that way I've gotten rid of that geometry. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. And here we have a fillet and maybe I want to get rid of some of these. So to show the older command, again I can select a surface. And then from the mini toolbar, here we have the remove command, same as going to the editing drop down menu, and then hit the check mark. Similarly, if I go to flexible modeling, I can select another surface. And you'll notice I'm just selecting half of the cylinder. And now when I go to remove, it automatically extrapolates to the tangent reference. Let's hit the check mark and I've removed that. And just to show you, sometimes you might have to select multiple surfaces if you want to get rid of the geometry that you want. So for example, if I choose remove from here, we can see how it's going to patch it. And on the references tab, I can hold down the control key and select additional more surfaces that I want to get rid of. and hit the check mark. And one last example, let's say that I want to get rid of the representation of the fasteners entirely. Again, when I'm in flexible modeling, select a surface, and then let's see, oh, that actually looks like everything that I want to remove. So let's use the boss selection, and then remove. And we can see what's going to go away. I like that, hit the check mark, and it's no longer in there. If you take a look at the model tree, you'll notice that you have a whole bunch of different remove commands in here. And if I were to delete or suppress one of those, then the geometry comes back. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.